I remember him coming home just covered in it. Greta Helmke's husband Robert, a New York City police officer, spent months at Ground Zero after the attacks, even sleeping there, covered in grit. Within four years, he had stage four colorectal cancer. Within six, he was dead at the age of 43. Pretty devastating, especially for such a great man who up until the end said to me, I just want to get better so I can go back to work. 14,000 first responders are living with illnesses they contracted after inhaling that smoldering mix of pulverized cement, lead and glass. They would be the beneficiaries of a $6.2 billion bill facing its final legislative hurdle in the U.S. Senate. The finish line's in sight. The funds would serve as a backstop for workers who are suffering from one of 22 diseases if their health insurance or workers' compensation runs out. Also included are the families that live exactly at ground zero because a lot of those children, you know how children are more susceptible, those toxins really affected them, the kids in daycare, the kids that were going to school right at ground zero, and a lot of them are getting these terrible lung disorders and asthma. Republicans balked at the cost and the tax Democrats devised to pay for it on multinational companies incorporated in tax havens. And it's a lot of money, and so I, I, my, my early response is that I am skeptical about that bill. It's a, a win, 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 win. Just do it! With time running out in this legislative session... The clerk will read a communication to the Senate. A cadre of New York media and political figures are putting like pressure on the Senate to act. Caring for the men and women who rushed to our defense on that dark day and in the days that followed is nothing less than a national duty. The bill's authors just got rid of that tax and replaced it with a fee on foreign firms. They believe that that change will gain them the votes that they need when this bill comes up for a vote in the Senate, most likely later this week, Katie. I know, I know you'll keep us posted on that. Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. Nance, thanks very much.